All right, I thought I could give you guys a Dodge update. Um, this is, what's today, Tuesday. This thing, thing, I'm taking this thing to its first car show and first time into town, Saturday. That'll be its first time there since the 1970s. Um, I got a new little fan over there. Hopefully I can, you guys can still hear me and the wind's not too bad. And I have voicemail on my phone. That's weird. Anyways, my Dodge update is going to be right here, obviously. Um, pulled this out today. She's not looking too hot. I'm going to try to clean that up and see if maybe that'll fix it. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. The way I take this out is your float and assembly and everything is sitting in there like this. On top of that is this. Obviously the wire's out of there. And then you spin this around, pop it up, and you pull this out. It's that easy. The reason why the wire's on there right now, is that cork? Okay, I'm distracted. Anyways. Um, because I wanted to see if maybe the sending unit was just not floating or not working or what. But I've turned on the key with it up like that. I'm assuming that is full because that makes sense. Other than at its lowest point, it should be empty. So, I've tried it like that and have not had any luck. Um, I'm assuming I haven't really looked at the wiring a lot. I know, I should probably look at the wiring first. I'm not going to do that. The wiring on this car so far has been perfect. So I'm not going to try that. Um, somebody's going to call me stupid for that. Won't be the first for last time. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's how you take off all that. Um, I went through all the, I didn't go through all the brakes. I finally fixed that front left brake. I had to replace that entire little piece. Napa actually sells that all put together. They also sell rebuild kits in case anybody ever wants one of those. Napa Auto Parts, that's where I go for that stuff. Um, I love this car. <laughs> but, uh. Now, and then I think my problem was I didn't bleed any brakes. So all the pressure is going up to that front left brake. It's the closest one to where the uh, pump is at. So, uh, I know it's not called a pump. I can't think of what it's called. Anyways, so I bled this one, then the back two. And now I have brakes and all four, we all, four, uh, all four disc brakes work. Drum, drum brakes, not discs. That was stupid. I might just say that. <laughs> discs in the 50s. That'd be something. Anyways, now instead of having that one leak, all four leak. I don't know why, but you know the brakes work. It's not going through a gallon of fluid like it was. I'm not going to mess with it until at least after the car show, if not next summer. Um, currently, oh, I put horns in it. You can't see it, but currently there's not a generator in there. Um, I drove it around a couple laps around our little neighborhood we have and uh, came back and had no battery whatsoever, no charge at all. And that's the most this car has driven since the 70s. So uh, that kind of tells me that I think the generator's crap. It's a brand new battery, so I know it's not that. The wiring should be okay. I don't know if this is the original generator off this car or not, but it was in this car. Um, I might have just found the original horns too. Which that's cool, because I was kind of curious to where those were. Um, yeah, they probably don't work. I had another set over here. You can see I tore into. They did not work. But these, I'm going to have to try. They're not looking any more promising than those, but I can try. So, yeah, I got my lights working. Let's go over and see what didn't work on my list last time. Brakes are fixed. The rear end... There's just one plug in there. Um, I checked the oil, actually cleaned out some of the old oil, added new oil a little bit. So the rear end's good. Um, generator's getting worked on. Gas gauge I'm currently working on. Have not carpeted the trunk, have not finished my carpet inside yet because um, I was working on the brakes, obviously, so there's no reason to finish it up, tie everything up. The hood still needs to get perfected. There's a long carb spring on there. I don't think it's even supposed to be on there, but I'm leaving it on there just because uh, it works. Um, so the silicone, the radiator hose, because it leaks a little. And once I silicone it, then I can fill the radiator up again because then it won't be pissing it out through that hose. 
and once all of that is done, this car will be perfect until something else breaks. Which, I mean, you never really know when it's going to be. So it could be tomorrow, for all I know, if I get the generator back tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm going to try to uh, work on this front end a little bit, that side. This side, obviously, you can tell it looks pretty good. I'm going to try to straighten that stuff up, reconnect to that middle piece, and throw the emblem back on. Oh, hopefully before Saturday. Which, I mean, nothing's really that hard with what I'm doing. It's just doing it, and it's 90-some degrees outside. So, that's the Dodge update, I guess. Thanks for watching.